Hello friends, I am Bhasha and today I am going to talk with you on a very burning issue. It's about sewer and septic tank deaths which are happening across the country and there is a campaign which is going across the country. It has already covered 100 days. Stop killing us. Here the community who is engaged in cleaning of sewer and septic tank, they are coming to streets around 18 states. They are raising just in single voice that the government should give answer to them why their life, Dalit life doesn't matter for this government. And in this campaign across the country, just the single and simple question is being asked that why when we are talking about 75 years of glorified Indian independence and the way forward, why Indian citizens are forced to clean sewer and septic tank manually and die there. We are going to talk about this campaign in detail, how it is started from national capital, Delhi on 11th May, and still it's going on. On this issue, we had talked to different activists who are running in the streets, raising their slogans and raising the basic demand. They are asking right to live right to live with dignity and there should be no caste barricades or discrimination which is much prevalent in the country right now. We went to Deepti Sukumar. She is in Chennai, Tamil Nadu. She is heading the whole campaign there and there she is able to make some interventions with the legal fraternity. Tamil Nadu High Court is very responsive. Let's ask to her why there at least this difference has been created, why the judiciary is listening to them. Let's go and have a word and just ask what is all about Stop Killing Us. Deepti, aapka news click mein swagat hai. welcome to News Click. I just wanted to know your experience about Stop Killing Us uh, when you were crossing uh, the High Court. What was the reaction from the High Court and from the people? I want to know that when in Tamil Nadu, in Chennai, there was a campaign that was Stop Killing Us campaign. In which way, when you saw the High Court and the Sivar and the Septic Tank was going on, what was the reaction? What happened? Tell us about our viewers. Yeah, so we started this campaign in uh, Chennai on the 11th May. And uh, not 16th, I'm sorry, on the 13th of this month, 13th of August, we started this campaign. And it has been going on. In fact, it was the last day of the campaign that we were having in, uh, in a place called Aminjikare in Chennai. So as we were going to that place, we received a phone call from our advocate. We have filed a PIL in the High Court, in Chennai High Court, in Madras High Court. This has been filed about almost six years ago. And the court is and the, and the and the case is still ongoing. So in fact, there was a hearing scheduled even last month, which got adjourned to this month. And at that time, our advocate called us while we were on the way to Aminjikarai, saying that just outside the high court, right then, as we were traveling to this campaign, there were two young men who were inside a sewer, who were cleaning out a sewer and were fully immersed. And we also well, I mean high court also, ke Yes, just outside the main gate of the high court, just opposite the main gate. So there is no way that anybody can miss that site, even as they are walking up, you know, uh, on, the, um, on that road or even entering the court premises also, you cannot miss that site. So he called us and we were in Aminjikare, we were going to Aminjikare. Aminjikare is a different uh, part of the city. And he said, right now there is this thing happening in the in front of the Madras High Court. So then we were having a discussion. Then immediately, Safai Karmachari Antolan team has rushed to the spot there. And those two men, we have taken the, the details, we've collected all the contact details. And in the meantime, our advocate also, he immediately went to the Chief Justice and he asked and he, and he informed the Chief Justice. He made a complaint to the Chief Justice saying that this is happening. And a case also the same thing to prevent the entry of human beings into sewer lines and manholes and septic tanks. So this kind of, you know, the chief justice also was take, was quite shocked 
that you know there is so much of this absolute contempt of court and contempt of humanity everything so he was very shocked and immediately he passed an order that they must stop the work immediately and he was very angry so he has now i think given the and he wanted to have the hearing on thursday immediately the next day after we saw this uh, you know the hearing that has been that is being adjourned so then i think the attorney general that is the ag of tamil nadu state they are not prepared already so they have said they are not prepared already so we want some more time to respond because i think the chief justice came down very heavily on them and said you need to give us some answer why this kind of uh, thing is continuing when the case is still going on you are giving the responses but this on the one side it is still going so what what is the remaining of this so now they have asked for date till monday so we are having the hearing on monday so now i think monday we need to go and uh, find out even in this campaign also when we have been having this campaign for stop killing us in all of these uh, seven places locations in um, chennai where we have done this campaign the community is the one who has organized the entire thing because the community is really fed up for them you know they are saying enough is enough because in tamil nadu if you see though the deaths are going on the deaths are coming people are still entering into septic tanks and even though there is this uh, the, the there is the kind of uh, scenario where there is missionary and they are saying that they have spent so much of uh, you know uh, money on buying the machinery and mechanization but it is why people are still dying and we don't see that happening anywhere you know machines that are really cleaning out this kind of uh, the sewerage and so to do sewerage sewerage work uh, so the people are also fed up and they have been asking for uh, some you know some some uh, immediate action from the government to take steps to stop this immediately एक सवाल जो मैं आपसे दीप्ति पूछना चाहती हूँ वो ये कि दक्षिण भारत में खासतौर से तमिलनाडु और बाकी राज्यों में सीवर सेप्टिक टैंक डेथ पर कम से कम ज्यादा सेंसिबिलिटी है कोर्ट अपने आप रिएक्ट करता है हमें उत्तर भारत में नॉर्थ इंडिया में इस तरह का रिएक्शन नहीं देखने को मिलता है कोई स्पेसिफिक कारण आपको लगता है वाई देर इज मोर रिस्पॉन्सेस फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट फ्रॉम द जुडिशरी इन साउथ एंड स्पेसिफिकली इन तमिलनाडु which is missing entirely missing in uh, north india yeah actually in tamil nadu if you see even the reporting also is quite high whenever there is a death or whenever there is an incident like this the reporting is also very immediate very timely and quite high um i think because of that only the numbers are also showing as very high in tamil nadu uh and but even in tamil nadu even though the numbers the reporting is good and the, uh, the numbers are high the numbers that are coming out is only coming from very uh, very urban areas so what is happening in the semi urban because septic tanks are everywhere semi urban areas and rural areas also so whether there is more and more deaths happening even in semi urban areas and rural areas that is not coming to light because whatever reports are whatever is being reported the deaths is more from the uh, more urban areas so that is that is one uh, that is one one side the other thing is also that uh, why tamil nadu is having this kind of a responsiveness from the judiciary i think basically i think the uh, there is a kind of a, there is they have been sensitive to this uh, the judiciary has been showing some sensitivity to this issue especially from the very beginning so that is also there and also i think when uh, the government is also having the numbers but uh, the we, for the for a long time what we are seeing is that the government is not able to give the proper direct answer for prevention of deaths i think uh, they are and they are also giving the numbers that there are so many deaths that are happening because one thing is the media is very alert on this issue media is quite alert as soon as a death happens the media is reporting so when these issues are being highlighted and giving some prominence in the media definitely the government cannot undermine the issue that is yeah. one uh, strength that is there in the state yeah. so that one the, thing one thing i just want to know from you that finally what do you think that from a stop killing us campaign it has completed 100 days it's going beyond what what is the target what you want to achieve uh, if you can just tell us in briefly agar aap hame ye bata paye ki stop killing us campaign 
11 मई से चल रहा है 100 दिन उसने पूरे कर लिए हैं आगे भी चलेगा चल रहा है क्या लक्ष्य है क्या टारगेट है so we have been focusing on the stop killing us campaign that this particular sewerage work is a is a caste atrocity it's a caste discrimination and it is a it is a violence against uh, it, it is a it is an atrocity and also violation of human rights basic human right right to life and right to equality so and this is something on one side i think the communities that have been engaging in this campaign are getting empowered to demand that's on one side on the other side i think the government is also uh, is is also kind of be making this issue is becoming visible so they are forced to actually pay attention to this issue that is one side but our main focus is that um, there has to be prevention of deaths because now deaths are happening and it is it has become very simple and very easy for any government or local government to just give a compensation of 10 lakhs and close the case FIR says yes, FIR is being filed, but then nowhere has the FIR actually gone progress to even a charge sheet. Yeah, charge so sheet this is a problem. Yeah, charge sheet has not been approved. Yeah, charge sheet has not been approved. Yeah, charge sheet has not been approved. Charge sheet. So what we are saying is that debts are happening, compensation is being given, FIRs are being filed, but that is a very the kind of a token action. It's not really a. It's, there's no deep commitment or sincerity. It's just done because. It, it's it's a routine mechanical way of dealing a routine thing that they are doing so what we are saying is that prevention of death so what do you do for prevention of death is that reach to the com- com- community and it has to be uh, addressed as a caste atrocity and as a caste based violence and from that angle only we must take this whole issue and make sure that every person who is who has a vulnerability who has who is at risk of uh, you know being engaged as a manual scavenger to do storage work must be identified uh, by a survey by a proper survey and brought under the you know radar of the government and liberated and rehabilitated fully so there has to be a proper budget allocation for this for prevention of deaths i think now the focus is more that we want to have prevention of deaths more than compensation and uh, you know uh, after death then after death uh, uh, kind of action. action no we want the before death you know uh act to make people live not to make not not to do something after they die aapka bahut bahut shukriya deepthi thank you